place, London. The time, 1843. The season, that of jollity, of festivity and charity, holly and berries and goodwill to all men, with perhaps one exception. And it is with this exception that we are concerned in our story. The exception is Ebenezer Scrooge. Christmas, Uncle. God save you. Humbug. Christmas a humbug, Uncle? <laughs> you don't mean that, I'm sure. Oh, but I do. Merry Christmas? What reason have you to be merry? You're, you're poor enough. Well, come then. What reason have you to be morose? You're rich enough. Bah! Humbug. Don't be cross, Uncle. Well, 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 what else can I be? Out upon a merry Christmas. If I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding and, and, and buried with, with a stake of holly through his heart. Uncle! Keep Christmas in your own way and let me keep it in mine. Don't be angry, Uncle. Come, dine with us tomorrow. Never. No, good afternoon. I'm sorry with all my heart to find you so resolute. But I'll keep my Christmas humor to the last. So, a Merry Christmas, Uncle, and a Happy New Year. Good afternoon. And a Merry Christmas, Mr. Cratchit. Merry Christmas, sir. Good afternoon! Scrooge and Marley's, I believe. Have I the pleasure of addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Mr. Marley has died seven years ago this very night. At this festive season of the year, Mr. Scrooge, a few of us are endeavouring to raise a fund to buy the poor some meat and drink and means of warmth. But are there no prisons? Plenty of prisons. Uh, and then the treadmill and the poor law, the union workhouses, they in full vigour, then? Hmm? Both very busy. Oh, I was afraid from what you said at first that something had occurred to stop them in their useful course. I, I don't make merry myself at Christmas and I can't afford to make idle people merry. Yes, I know. You'll tell me that many can't go there, and many would rather die. Well, we'd better do that, than decrease the surplus population. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Uh, you'll want all day tomorrow, I suppose, hmm? If quite convenient, sir. It's not convenient, and it's not fair. If I was to stop you half a crown for it, you'd think yourself ill-used, I'll be bound. Hmm? <laughs> and yet you, you don't think me ill-used when I pay a day's wages for no work. It's only once a year, sir. Well, that's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. You'll be here all the earlier the next morning. Even the blind man's dog knew old Scrooge and avoided him. Scrooge kept all humanity at a distance and liked it that way. <gasps> Jacob! Jacob Marley! What do you want with me? March. You don't believe in me. <laughs> I don't. Because you, 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 you may be an undigested bit of beef, a fragment of an underdone potato. 
<laughs> There's more of gravy than of grave about you. I wear the chain I forged in life. I made it link by link and yard by yard. I girded it on of my own free will. And of my own free will, I wore it. Now, now, you were always a good man of business, Jacob. Business! Mankind was my business. Why did I walk through crowds of fellow beings with my eyes turned down? and never raised them to that blessed star which led the wise men to a poor abode. Hear me. I, I, I will, I will. I am here tonight to warn you that you have yet a chance of escaping my fate, Ebenezer. You will be haunted by three spirits. Expect the first tomorrow, when the bell tolls one. Expect the second on the next night at the same hour. The third upon the next night, when the last stroke of twelve has ceased to vibrate. The air was filled with moaning phantoms. Their misery was plainly that they had lost the power to interfere for good in human matters. Oh, Scrooge awoke to the chimes of a neighboring clock. His room was flooded with light and a hand opened the curtains of his bed. Uh, you... Are you the spirit, sir, who, 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 whose coming was foretold to me? I am. Who, who and what are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Uh, lo long past? No, your past. W what brings you here? Your welfare. Rise and walk with me. Good heavens, I was a boy here. Your lip is trembling. What? And what is that upon your cheek? Nothing, nothing. Nothing? These are but shadows of the things that have been. They have no consciousness of us. The school is not quite deserted. A solitary child, neglected by his friends, is left there still. Oh, poor boy. Let us see another Christmas. Do you know this place? Uh, know it? I, I, I was apprenticed here. Oh, why? <laughs> it's old Fezziwig. It's Fezziwig, alive again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo-ho, my boys. No more work tonight. Christmas Eve, Dick. Christmas Ebenezer. Clear away, my lads. Cheer up, Ebenezer. Merry Christmas to you. Hee-ho, my lad. <laughs> he was very much attached to me. to make these silly folks so full of gratitude. But small? Why is it not? He has spent but a few pounds of your mortal money. Three or four, perhaps. But it isn't that, Spirit. He had the power. He had the power to render us happy or unhappy. Uh, to make our service light or burdensome, of pleasure or of toil. My time grows short. Quick. 
You are changed. You fear the world too much. There is nothing as hard as poverty, so I pursue wealth. I have seen your nobler aspirations fall off one by one until the master passion gain engrosses you. Our contract is an old one. I can release you. Have I ever sought release? In words? No, never. In what then? In a changed nature, in an altered spirit. May you be happy in the life you have chosen. Oh, spirit, why would you delight to torture me? I told you these were shadows of the things that have been. That they are what they are. Do not blame me. Take me back. Haunt me no longer. Enter, Ebenezer Scrooge. Come in and know me better, man. I am the ghost of Christmas present. You have never seen the like of me before. Spirit, conduct me where you will. If you have aught to teach me, well, let me profit by it. Touch my robe. As they walked, the spirit shed from his torch a few drops of good cheer on the passers-by. They stopped to bless the humble dwelling of the Cratchit family. <laughs> and how did little Tim behave? As good as gold. He told me coming home that he hoped the people saw him in the church because he was a cripple and it might be pleasant to them to remember upon Christmas Day who made lame beggars walk and blind men see. <laughs> The little boy lost in the snow. The little boy lost in the snow. Are then. <laughs> A Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us. God bless us, everyone. God bless us. God bless us, everyone. Spirit, tell me. Tell me if tiny Tim will live. I see a vacant seat in the poor chimney corner and a crutch without an owner, carefully preserved. No, no. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. No. No. What then? If he be like to die, he had better do it. Don't. And decrease the surplus population. Oh, God, to hear the insect on the leaf pronouncing on the too much life among his hungry brothers in the dust. What place is this? A place where miners live, who labor in the bowels of the earth. But they know me. See? God bless you, Nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from
<laughs> Uncle Scrooge. He's given us plenty of merriment, I'm sure. And it would be ungrateful not to drink his health. And I say, Uncle Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to the old man, whatever he is. He wouldn't take it from me, but may he have it nevertheless. My life upon this globe is very brief. It ends tonight at midnight. Forgive me, but I, I, I see something strange. Look here. Look, look, down here. Spirit? Are they yours? They are man's. And they cling to me. This boy is ignorance. This girl is want. Beware them both, but most of all, beware this boy. Have they no refuge? No, no resource? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? presence of the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You are about to show me shadows of things that have not happened, but will happen in the time before us. Is that so, spirit? Ghost of the future, I fear you more than any specter I have seen. But as I know your purpose is to do me good, Lead on, lead on, spirit. Old Scratch has got his own at last, I hear. Well, what was the matter with him? God knows. <laughs> it's likely to be a very cheap funeral. I don't mind going if a lunch is provided, but I must be fed. <laughs> <laughs> Come into the parlour. Come into the parlour. Come into the parlour. Come in. <laughs> Open that bundle, old Joe. Uh, what have we got here, buddy? <laughs> His blankets. Bed curtains. You don't mean to say you took them down rings and all with him lying there? Yes, I do. <laughs> if he wanted to keep him after he was dead, why wasn't he natural in his lifetime? It's a judgment mm. on him. Spirit, <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yet I, I, I do, I do see. Oh, God, merciful heaven, what is this? Spirit, this is a fearful place. I, uh, in leaving it, I, I'll not leave its lesson. Let us go. I understand you, and I would do it if I could, but I have not the power, Spirit, I have not the power. Oh, let me see some tenderness connected with the death. My little, little child. My little child. Before I draw nearer to that stone to which you point, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of the things that will be, or are they shadows of the things that may be only? Am I the man? who lay upon the bed. No, spirit. No, oh, no, no. Spirit, I'm not the man I was. Good spirit, assure me that I may yet change these shadows you have shown me by an altered life. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach.
<laughs> They're not torn down. Look, rings and all. Yes, I will live in the past, the present and the future. Oh, Jacob Marley, heaven and the Christmas time be praised for this. <laughs> oh, I, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what day of the month it is. I, 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 I don't know how long I've been among the spirits. I, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> An intelligent boy. Oh, a remarkable boy. What's today, my fine young fellow? Today? Christmas Day! What? It's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. And I haven't missed it. The, 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 the spirits have done it all in one night. Well, they can do anything they like. Of course they can. <laughs> 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 you know, I scarcely ever looked at it before, but it's a wonderful knocker. I'll send it to Bob Cratchit. <laughs> and he, he shan't know who sends it. <laughs> My, my, my dear sir, how do you do? A, me a, merry, a merry Christmas to you, sir. Mr. Scrooge. Yeah, yes. Well, al al allow me to ask your pardon. Uh, and will you come and see me? I will. I will. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bless you. Is your master at home? Yes, sir. He's in the dining room along with mistress. Thank you. I'll, I'll just go in myself. Fred. Well, bless my soul. Come in, Uncle. Come in, Uncle. Hello. And what do you mean by coming here at this time of day? Hmm? I am very sorry, sir. It, it's only once a year, sir. It, it shall not be repeated. I was making rather merry yesterday, sir. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, my friend. I am not going to stand for this sort of thing any longer. And therefore, therefore, I am about to raise your salary. A Merry Christmas, Bob. A Merry Christmas. I, I, oh, I will raise your salary, Bob, and endeavor to assist your struggling family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and we'll discuss your affairs this very afternoon, Bob. <laughs> Scrooge was better than his word. He did all he had promised and more. And to Tiny Tim, who did not die, he was a second father. It was said thereafter that Ebenezer Scrooge knew how to keep Christmas well, if any man alive possessed that knowledge. <laughs>